Did you know that right after I posted that live siege video that you guys saw and had so much fun with, I got benched, which means I potentially lost 300 crystals and a thousand guild points. For a free to play player like me, that is a lot of income loss, okay? So the least you can do for me is to hit the like button on this siege video because we are about to do it all over again. But this time we have a try hard siege section and we have a live siege fun section. The best of both were. You can choose what you want to watch. The first one was against GOAT, the strongest guild in Asia server. Yes, they have won the siege tournament so many times, I have been waiting the entire season to meet them and we finally had the chance. So all of my attacks were on GOAT defenses. And of course it's gonna be ultra sweaty tryhard. But then the next one is gonna be live, fun and exciting. We're trying out new toys as well like the water series. So let's jump to the siege recap of this week. For the first attack, against gold we have clara kiki and asher so this team rely on debuff and potentially asher damage so the main goal here is to have cleanser against the kiki debuff Kiki has a lot of debuff, but she doesn't have stun. So I have two cleanser. If one is stun, I can use the other cleanser to cleanse the other cleanser. So you can use pretty much anything. Or you can also use passive cleansing unit like Veramos or Tetra. And they can do a very amazing job against Kiki as well. And I try to go and kill Kiki first because that is the main problem of the enemy team. And after that, it's pretty much auto. With Fangion and Alaya, you can pretty much destroy anything on enemy defense. Round two, we have a defense that doesn't have any speed threat. So I go in with a normal cleave. I saw my guilty replay and realized that they are two unit off will. So I went, went in with a light samurai on a damage bill. And that's pretty much it. I have one good swift set that I switch around all the attack by booster. So they can all have the best swift. And after I cleave the other two unit, Kakano alone is not really a problem and he's gonna go down very soon as well. Don't do this if you know they're on will. So check the replay. This one was a little bit risky. We have Clara, Savannah and a random LD5 and this one is gonna be the Dark Demon. So this guy can do very good damage and my Annabelle actually got defense broken turn one, but luckily, he didn't violent proc. I was hoping for the Kinky to get defense broken as well. So the damage will go to the Kinky and Kinky can tank the Dark Demon just fine. But here he violent proc. So we lose Leo. I thought, you know what? Game over. We're gonna lose this one. But we fight on. The Anavar had zero speed, but Kinky does have some speed and he's on a despair build. This time trying out some new Kinky build because the old vile build didn't feel right. It's gonna be very good anymore. So we kill the Dark Demon. But I know the demon's gonna come back, but the good thing is Kiki can take one hit from the demon just fine. So we're gonna take down the Clara. Good thing is Annabelle is very low in HP as well. So he killed the Annabelle. The Clara come back with no crazy HP. So she's gonna go down to the revenge damage coming out from the Kinky as well. And the demon's gonna die to the Kinky as well. The good thing is the Kinky, I mean the demon didn't go for skill two right there. Or else the Kinky could have been in trouble. So here, a bit scary, but we pull through. Here we have a standard Chandra Zen and a random LD5. If you have a random LD5, there are many ways to use it on defense. So you pair it with Clara Savannah or Chandra Zen or Miyang Shiklet or Kakarno Zen. Just speed leech strip and then your funny random damage LD5 can be the third slot. And usually that can surprise some enemy and give you a free win on defense. So here we have the very standard. Nobody is going to be able to kill Camilla and Windy because you can't defense break them easily. Belial come back and I kill them one by one. Pretty standard. You don't have to watch this. You have watched this way too many times already. This time we are fighting Clara, Savannah, Tessarian. A very popular sort of free to play friendly defense because most people can hopefully pull Savannah. And with Tessarian on the field, you can counter Leo as well. So I'm going in with Hey Gang and Double Fire. And we go in with a strip, Hey Gang strip, and then we follow up with the double fire damage. Should be easy, but the problem with this exact offense I'm using is that sometimes Clara's strip can be very annoying. If she strip both the fire unit and not the Hey Gang, then I don't have any strip for the enemy and they have will, then it might be a bit tricky. But this time, the Clara pull through and strip everybody properly so I can follow up properly as well. Next up, we have another Clara Savannah LD5. This time we have the Dark thingy over there it does a lot of damage it's very tanky but it's not too special so i have jean here to tank the damage in in case i get defense broken the damage come my way it should come on the light unit with minus dark artifact we have helena here to do damage and helena is just absolutely insane at doing damage with this particular team so if you have built this team please use it 
against most Clara, Savannah, whatever. And it is ridiculously strong. Next up, we have another Clara, Savannah, Tessarian. And this time, I'm bringing in my Bovirk, Windy, Amelia. I'm sorry, guys. It has to be done because this is gold, okay? I want to get a 10-win streak against gold because it's important, okay? I, I beat the strongest girl in Asia with my 10-win, and that is very satisfying. So nobody's going to ever kill me because it's really hard to kill me, okay? I'm very tanky and the team is built so that you can survive forever. They have no healing, so we just take out Tam, we get both of the five stack with Amelia and Windy, and we kill them one by one, and that's pretty much it. Nothing they can do to really break this offense apart. Very tanky, very, very high win rate offense team. Copy this and you'll be good to go. Unfortunately, I have to hit another Clara Savannah Tessarian. So this time, I know I can now speed with Kabila very comfortably. We go in with Kabila and Gemini to strip defense break. And we one-shot them by one with the Isabel. It's not as easy because Savannah doesn't die very quickly. And Tessarian has damage reduction as well. So you might not even kill Tessarian. But you can give this a try because you can now speed. Means you can go first and do damage and you can not worry about the enemy violent prompts and we have another one here as well and i just replaced my rune on this com to another exact copy this one has led less will rune but then i missed the strip on the clara so i could not kill the clara i want to kill the clara more than the savannah but we had to dismount the savannah and after that he doesn't really have any real damage threat so it's pretty much very easy from then on. And lastly, we have another one of this. It's just G3 Siege, okay? They spam the same offense and the same defense. And this time, try something different here. We have a speed lead into the Adriana. So we have three buff, very hard to strip me with three buff on. And I have the more to get in between to potentially strip stun the enemy as well. And after that, my main fire damage dealer is going to focus on enemy Savannah. And after that, it's going to be Tessarian. If I land the attack break from the more on the Tessarian, then he's going to have a very hard time doing any real damage to me. So that's pretty much it. We have three buff. You can also run a Wusa as well to protect yourself against the Clara strip stun because multiple buff is just incredible against the Clara strip in general. So pretty safe and we destroyed them easily as well. And sweet 10 win on GOAT. Lucky me. Hey guys, Xiaomin. Today we have another live siege against Amenity and Zenith. And my sword will be the one deciding whether we're going to win or not. So I'm going to be very, very careful here, okay? For the first one, we have Clara, Kiki, and Camilla. So we're going to go in with Wind Panda. We have Tetra and Veramos to deal with the Kiki debuff. So I think we should be fine. Minus water in the artifact as well so that I don't get one shot by this crazy Camilla. And I think we should be okay. All right, here we go. Oh, we outspeed him. Wait, I could have just cleaved him with, with a, with a, whatever. <laughs> I could have really just cleaved him very, very easily because he is actually really slow and also no will. But he is proking Valen like crazy though. So here comes the debuff, and here comes the cami damage. Nothing too crazy. We can stun that, and I think I will focus on the Clara first because that Clara looked extremely squishy and the Clara is the only one that will focus the defense break on my Wind Panda which is my main damage dealer as long as Wind Panda stay alive I think I should be okay none of the debuff will really matter because they'll be gone in a matter of second the moment my Vero and Tetra take a turn that can be hit really hard though so I think this defense is more for very high damage build on this unit but if you can see the replay and you know if you can cleave them, then it's also very cleavable because I think even the Kami is on very high damage because you know enemy is going to try to bring in Juno to counter Kiki. And if your Kami can really destroy Juno, then that's going to snatch you a win or two. Like right here, if he violent proc like three times and my HP is destroyed really heavily, then we might have a problem. We might, but... If we can destroy him before that happened, I think we should be okay. And the moment one of these units move, I'm going to be fine. And the good thing about this is Vero and Tetra are both very free to play friendly. So only the Wind Panda is a little bit, <laughs> a little bit hard to get. But I think a Dominic can also do very, very good job here. So any wind damage dealer is amazing. Also, you can also try to Leo this defense. I think that's going to be very easy as well but oh no my steam crash <laughs> uh, 
ada. <laughs> you. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Bro, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't want to say. I have to redeem myself here. So we have a Belial calm with Belial and Camilla and a Windy who has minus fire to tank the Kakarno as long as possible. So we're going to go in, we're going to snipe them one by one and we call it a day. There's no way I will lose this. Okay. We have to win the rest of the nine attack so that my guild will not bench me in the next siege. And that is very, very important. So who do I kill first to win? We're going to go for the... Why? Is that a max rest Kakarno? <laughs> Wait, should I should I really buff the, the speed buff? I don't think that really matter, right? Because she gonna strip out of that anyway. Okay, okay. I, I don't think that Kakarno's ever gonna kill my Windy because Windy's super tanky and have a healer in the form of Camilla as well. So we're going to take this one out first. So we're gonna keep our speed buff and also the shield buff. But then he kind of ignore my shield buff a little bit. So, does my shield buff really matter? So we're just gonna auto and put a target on the Kakarno because what what is there to do anyway? This is probably the best team to use when you are going turn two and you know that there's no way anyone over there will have a chance, a chance to kill your Camilla. And that's pretty much it. And <laughs> I just don't care what they do. They're just gonna do whatever they wanna do. And we're going to destroy the Camilla with an Ignore Defense hit. So I'm going to manual when the Demon come up. Because the Demon might not use skill 2. And that can waste a lot of time. Because I want to end this as quickly as possible. So we're going to turn on manual mode here. And we should be okay after this turn. Please. Come on. And. Oh. <laughs> Very tanky, sir. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, you got to waste my time like that. She went three turns and healed back up. Unbelievable. 20 minutes later. Are we done now? Are we done now? Thank you so much. Here we have a very aggressive defense. So we're going to have more for the leader skill. If he stripped, then more is going to cut in and do some AOE damage. And if they kill me, Samav and my boy Ayunu will absolutely destroy whatever is left on the field. So what are we dealing with? It's going to be the whatever thing that he's trying to do. We're going to go for the spin, do some damage over there. And, oh, he's not really doing any real damage to me, unfortunately. But I think he should soon. Big AoE. And then he's going to do the strip. And then here comes the real damage. Oh boy, oh boy, it's going to... Oh, here we go! Boom! And we're going to finish this guy. Wait, hold up. Shit. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Because the Kaki didn't AoE last time. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They failed the task successfully. If they did exactly what they did, we could have won easily. There's no way I'm getting outspared by this guy, right? I'm super fast and I'm speed tuned. Okay, we're going to strip. Easy. <laughs> I can't believe it. They failed to do their first turn thingy. And then I got destroyed because they didn't do what they were supposed to do. God, I hate defense AI so much. Sometimes when they go stupid, it's actually not a good thing. We have a strip into debuff. So we're going to have Hey Gang to counter the Zen. We have Rika to do the damage. And just in case things really go wrong, we have Louise here for the protection as well. <laughs> okay, he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. And then... She's, he's doing the thing. Okay, he didn't do the strip thingy. Nothing too crazy is happening. We're going to strip the hug thingy. We're going to put some dots over there. Easily done. We're going to get a violent prop so I can stun. I don't have to do anything here just yet. So we're going to take our time here. We're going to go for the pushback. We're going to go for the sleep maybe. Here comes the, the funny little strip that he does. And we're going to go for the sleep here. Nothing's happening. Maybe I should have buffed the, the thing. I'm going to buff the thing now. 
and then we're gonna put more dots on the enemy, and we're gonna get another violent proc. Dude, I love violent Rika now because they know the skill one, so we need something to to compensate for that. Okay, we need the violent procs, or else how I'm gonna do good damage with Rika alone? And I think we should be okay. We should be fine. I can't lose anymore. We lost like two. <laughs> I can't believe we lost like two. What the hell? Ah, that was so easy. Come on, Sean. Are we getting 10 wins every siege if things goes right? I mean, that's what anyone can say. For this one, we're going to go a little bit funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Wait, what's funny? We have a Leo here with Vio Nemesis. We have an Annabelle, just standard Leo bill with HP, HP, HP. We have a very, very interesting double name will Talasha here. So whatever they do turn one, I'm going to get so much attack bar. We're going to boost Leo, one shot Nikki, and I think we should be okay. Here we go. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> um, Who do I push back? Actually, I'm going to take away the strip of this guy and whatever she does. Okay, she she's not giving me free attack bar. Free attack bar. Here we go. We're going to do this on the Leo. I'm going to take out the thingy. I'm going to heal up my team. And I think we should be okay. We have two healers. And there's no more heal block coming off the enemy team. At the moment, we're going to heal up the team again. And now the damage will be focused onto the Nikki. Not too tanky, I would say. Some nice little sleep, sleepy, sleepy action right there. And oh, 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 relax, Nikki. What? Oh, wow. That is very big heal. Very, very big heal. Which means she might not be very tanky from what I can see right here. The damage I'm doing on her is really, really good. Hey, come on. Wait, I can strip with that skill, right? I remember. Can I strip with that skill? I think I can. I think they can all strip with that skill. Oh. <laughs> she died to the dots anyway. I can't be losing anymore, okay? I can't be losing anymore. My my reputation is on the line here, guys, okay? Every battle counts. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Okay, one more down. For this defense, there's going to be a main light damage dealer. So we're going to have a dark tank for this light damage dealer that will never die no matter what he does. And we're going to have the Vela Jewel right here to protect the Tessarian that I'm going to use to kill the enemy Julian. And I think we should be okay. So here comes the Zen doing the Zen. Why is the defense break only on Vela Jewel? Only on Vela Jewel! I have minus light. I have minus light. <gasps> <laughs> Whoa, that was a little bit too scary. All right, I'm going to provoke you so that you don't touch my other unit. And then we are going to kill this Zen first because the other unit is getting protected. Why did I miss everything? Okay, we're going to defense break and heal as well. So whatever, did he can Valen prop four turns in a row with that Julian and my... My Onyx is going to be just fine. All right, he can just do whatever he wants. We're going to Oblivion him. So that we can kill him next turn if we get the Oblivion. Very... Oh, come on, bro. Oh, oh, really now? But that's okay. There's no more defense break, which means there's no way he's going to do anything to my to, to, to my team whatsoever. All right, we're going to defense break and we're going to finish off the Julian. <laughs> Un unbelievable. He defense break only the... the the unit without damage reduction, okay? Because the Siren ha actually has damage reduction. So I could take the, the Julian hit better, but Vela Jew didn't have any damage reduction. So that was very scary. Here we have a no speed lead defense. So double snipe is a very standard way to deal with this. We have a generic attack buffer, but very good for this calm. You can use the wind chokona as well for a different version with covenant and all that good stuff. We have Sonia here to deal with the Brita. And then we have Siri here to deal with the Shazam. And I think we should be okay. All right. Because Siri has less damage, I'm not very confident going for the water unit with Siri. So we're going to go with the Sonia. Easily done. Only 60k though. And this would hopefully kill this guy. Only 43k. That was a little... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Only 43. Okay, buddy. Um, We are going to Oblivion you. Oh my goodness. We're going to finish you, that's for sure. And then we're going to die to this, to this Perna. But the good thing is we have two water unit left, so... And then Perna can't crit Siri because that's her passive. We're going to just do this. Finish it first because I don't know if I'm going to land the Oblivion or not. We land the Oblivion, so no healing for the Perna. And I think we should be okay. We're going to buff the attack power. And 
God, Siri damage is a little bit underwhelming, not gonna lie. <laughs> I think Bethany would have destroyed that Light Beast Monk, no problem whatsoever. For this one, we have the Byungchon and Theomas. Both can't be sniped turn one very easily, and then we have a Molly in there as well. Very complicated, so I'm gonna go in with a Leo and a Roy for defense break and destroy as well, and we're gonna have a defense buffer and retash kind of fun to play around with. So we have a triple HP retash, triple HP Roy because we're using Leo. I think we should be fine. We have defense defense buff, we have provoke, we have a lot of healing. Actually, we only have one healer. Wait, I just realized that. We we literally only have one healer. And... Oh. Oh, shit. We only have one healer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, We're going to go for the defense buff here. I hope my guilty doesn't realize that I have only one healer in this team. But I have defense... Dude, look at the Roy damage. And I have defense buff and attack break on that Theomas. I would not have any problem whatsoever okay i'm gonna pop the endure now and wow his damage kind of kind of good okay we're gonna provoke him with roy we're gonna do a lot of damage and hopefully things gonna be just fine okay we'll stop procking please can can i proc as well nice proc -y. we're gonna have defense buff again thanks for the proc retash we're gonna put attack break over here so oh no attack break we're gonna finish off the theo and i think Without Theo, there's no way a single Byungchon is going to do enough damage to ever hurt me. Even though he does have Destroy Rune. I also have Destroy Rune, but I wish I have Destroy on my other unit as well. I think changing the Destroy on the Retash would have helped this a little bit. But at least I have Destroy on the Roy, so I think we we should be okay. Even though this going to... You know what? I'm going to change target to, to the Molly so that... There's going to be no glancing whatsoever and my damage will be more consistent. So this is definitely going to take a while. <laughs> Not the most exciting, crazy thingy that you have ever watched on YouTube, but it's just how it is, okay? And that, that's just how you win in, in G3 Siege. I need to get into the mindset because it's the end of the normal Siege season very soon and tournament is coming up, so I have to, uh, to stop trolling. <laughs> Every time I do Siege, my content creator brain and my... I, I have to be a nice guilty brain struggle because I also want to do well for the guild and I also want to do something fun for the boys who's watching right now if you're listening to this. You probably skipped this part already. So there's probably like five people who watch this part where I try to talk through this very interesting, intense battle I'm doing where nothing really happens. But I, I try to balance. Oh my goodness. Am I dying to this Byungchon? There's no way, right? There, there is no way. Can I provoke that? Okay, he's doing a bit more damage than I thought. Oh, oh, sh oh shit. Oh, oh, shit. Do I have healing? Okay, I do have healing. Okay, that's not too bad. My healing is really terrible compared to, to Byungchon. <laughs> healing, I feel. Okay, we're doing... We're almost done with the fish. When we're done with the fish, we can win the fatty. Okay, we, we can definitely win the fatty. Can I push back? So I have some defense break going. Good. Crit. Very nice. She can't heal that much anymore, okay? She can't heal that much. Oh my goodness, that damage. It's so good. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, crap. My Roy actually is dead. I should have brought... You know what? I should have brought an Eladro. I, I... If I bought an Eladro, I think this is going to be... Okay, but I, I went and bought a Roy because it's funny. Shit. Can I still win here? <laughs> Guys, I'm not too sure. <laughs> because when he destroyed my Leo too much, then my Leo can't really ignore defense that safely. I need to I need him to switch the focus to retash, but how do I do that? He only hit my Leo. He only hit my Leo. Can I? Yes, thank you. Provoke him a little bit. Defense buff a little bit. And then we're gonna we're gonna save the skill too whenever we have the the chance, okay? Oh my god, I just realized that I have no more destroy. I have no more destroy. <laughs> the the unit that has destroy is dead. Oh oh no, this is bad. And my Leo has like zero accuracy, so I can't even I can't even dot this guy. I have literally zero accuracy, and I think this guy awakened into resistance. Come on, hit 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 retash. <laughs> Because I don't know how to tam this, this, this ignore defense when my HP is all the way down. Hit retash! Come on, dude! 
r e t a s h over there. Want you to hit him? Oh, oh, oh! No, no! You. <laughs> no! I gotta blame this on a crash. <laughs> I have to blame this on a. What? This Beyond s h a n is crazy. All right, this time it's gonna be a proper tryhard team. Okay, we have Ela Drew to make sure things are very, very safe. We have Diana to destroy the Theomas with raw damage, and then we have s h i c k l e t to strip reset defense break the Theomas so that Diana is gonna one shot the Theomas no problem whatsoever. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna prep the meal for Diana. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna touch on the other unit so that nothing weird happen. Free, literally free attack bar. Okay, there's no way a Molly is gonna cuck me, at all. Holy shit, the Molly! <laughs> How many hit did I miss? Okay, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> all right, one more defense break, and I think we should be okay. And we're gonna one shot whatever next coming out from the enemy. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the Molly. The Molly doesn't have the glancing protection on herself, so no problem whatsoever. We're gonna defense break the Molly as well in case we get a nice little violent. We didn't get the defense break, but it's okay. We have about 50 accuracy with the artifacts, so we're gonna miss one or two, which is totally normal. But as long as we keep the damage on to the Molly, I think we should be okay. And. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this nonsense that's happening right here. Look at that! And then I don't even have to. I'm just gonna heal Diana so that he will never touch Diana at all whatsoever. We're gonna just keep working on the Molly. One more violent proc, Diana. Come on! <laughs> oh, come to us is pitying me. Okay, they saw me losing from above and they are pitying me so much. One more? No, just kidding. That was like four turns in a row, and. There's no way this this funny little thing is gonna ever win me. We're gonna wait for the defense break. <laughs> we're going to wait for the defense break to come out from the s h i c k l e t and then we're gonna finish this guy off. Okay, we're gonna defense break him. His damage reduction is really good. Oh, we missed that. When he has full HP against snipe snipe team, but it's not really good when you have multiple hit and do damage to him slowly. Then his damage reduction is not too crazy. Oh my god, his skill one doing 10k, 10k on my fish, dude. This guy is nuts in Gil Conta, and he's such a great bruiser. Man, I want him so bad now. I want him and the water one really, really bad, and I only have the the fire one. I can't believe it. I have the worst one of them all. <laughs> Feels bad, man. All right, can I stun him one time? Good, Diana, keep going. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe Diana is just going 20,000 t u r n per turn. Can I get one more? No, we good. All right, jeez, I lost three live siege. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>